very good evening to everyone and welcome to the exclusive debate with me Lindo Shemnisi and we welcome everyone who's watching us at home this is SAPC3 where we give you uh, the more debate that you know any other people you know are talking about but you know it's one of those things and today we are talking about a very sensitive issue but we have to talk about these issues because it's something that is happening in our communities the issue of circumcision culture versus uh, the modern life so what we are looking at we're looking at the 31 people that have lost their lives these are initiates that went to do their circumcision in so many initiation schools some of these initiation schools are legal some of them are illegal so we are looking at the the 30 people that have died uh, going to these uh, initiation schools and of course in the studio we have uh, Sianda Nkala. Sianda is uh, one person who has a uh, first-hand experience in terms of this uh, tragic death uh, that you know happens in these initiation schools. Welcome to the show Sianda. Thank you very much sir. And of course on the other hand we have uh, Mr. Arnold Maho. Arnold is a spokesperson for uh, the Traditional Leaders Council. Welcome to the show Mr. Maho. So thank you, sir. Thank, thank you. you very much. Let's get uh, uh, Mr. Maho's argument. Why do you support uh, the, the, the the status quo of uh, this uh, uh, circumcision in person? You know, I, I want us to get this clear first. I'm not in support of the of the killings or of the deaths of the poor guys who went there to to you know to be sort of graduated into the manhood. That that's how it believed in our in, in our culture. But what I'm saying is that for some to suggest that we should in fact scrap the whole circumcision thing, the, the the thing of going to the mountain and get circumcised and use them, the, the one that is more, more than one where you go to the, to the, you know, to the clinics and the hospitals and all. I think that's bad for cultural, or also for preservation of culture. Mm. Because firstly, we still need culture to 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 you know, guide us. So this is one of those things that we still have. I understand that there are people who are using culture to score or to to use it to to get money. Yeah. But here, the point here is that instead of trying to scrap culture, let's find a way we could fix it. Let's find a way we could fix the killings. You understand me? Mm. Let's just have uh, Sianda Nkada also responding to one of uh, the points mentioned by Mr. Maho. Thank you so much for the platform. Um, aside from the fact that I experienced actually death as a result of um, circumcision, where my cousin died last year when she, he went to initiation school. Um, besides that fact, I just find it hard to believe that a person can actually stand here and say, this should continue when we see so many people dying. The problem with uh, traditionalists is the fact that they want to move away from the traditional life when it suits them. For yeah. instance, in this case, they do not want to... Um, eradicate circumcision completely. Mr. Maho, would you say that uh, it, it, there is sense in, you know, introducing some elements of moder mo modernity, if there's anything like that? Of course, of course. What, what we're trying to do here is not to say there, are some, there is a, a way in which modern life can help us. But what we are against is for you guys or for some guys to, to suggest that we should scrap who we are. We should stop who we are and follow them. You understand? My point here is that we, we, we can work with doctors, uh, qualified medical doctors, in a way to stop the, 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 you know, the killings or the, the deaths of the poor you know, guys. In a way, for example, sometimes when we get to, to a situation, let's say, for instance, um, 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 an initiate gets sick while in the mountain. Mm. Of course, um, the traditional doctor might not be able to give him the, the necessary um, you know, medicines to, to, to help him at that moment. And then we call uh, qualified medical uh, practitioners. But, but Mr. Maho, one can say that when you say we must introduce qualif uh, qualified doctors to go uh, to intervene when, the, 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 when somebody gets sick in the initiation school, you are actually saying it is right to distort the culture, the culture of saying, you know what, everything must be done by a traditional doctor. If you bring somebody qualified, then you are saying culture must be distorted. But of course, all that thought will be coming back to you. Let's just uh, bring in uh, Sianda Nkala. While well, referring to Mr. Maho's point, I think he is actually complimenting my points, which are 
this uh, whole initiation thing should be eradicated and the boys should go to um, doctors. We have professionals who deal directly with this. Also, I would like to bring the point that uh, I've heard a lot, of, a lot of excuses from traditionalists saying that this um, procedure takes place during winter because uh, apparently the scars, um, they heal faster during the time. But we've seen people yearly, annually, every time when during winter we lose another boy due to this circumcision so i do not think all those precautions that they think they're trying to implement are working so this should be hold that thought hold that thought we gonna be taking a break when we come back from the break we'll be looking at the education aspect of everything because we all need to know that it's not only about the actual procedure that goes on in initiation schools there's education uh, going on there so we'll be looking at that when we come back from the break stay tuned this is the extra Exclusive debate. Mr. Force, you don't choose a broker for your car insurance, do you? Well, with us, life insurance is just as easy. Let me take you through it step by step. Yes, I am fully qualified. I'm so sorry for your loss, Mrs. Masuko. Your husband was well covered. We'll finalize the claim as soon as possible. Just leave it to me. For car, home, business and life insurance, at Outsurance, we'll bend over backwards for you. Welcome back. Uh, you are still watching the exclusive debate with Lindo Gushi. And of course, we are still talking about the issues of circumcision and culture. We are looking at the very core question to say, what can be done to continue practicing our culture but remaining alive? We are referring to the number of people that died on, uh, uh, you know, this uh, circumcision uh, schools, uh, initiation schools, uh, uh, they call them. So we're looking at that. And of course, you are invited as well to comment on our facebook page the exclusive debate and of course on twitter we are at the exclusive debate and in the studio we are still with uh, mr maho and of course sianda Nkana. now mr maho i'm just gonna start with you here uh, what are the core importance of uh, of going to these initiation schools i know we have touched on so many issues but now we need to look at the in the importance the core importance of going to these initiation schools you know going to the initiation school in my culture we don't only see it as a way or just go there to, succ to for circumcision only yeah it we see it as a sort of a, a graduation school you come from where you were boy and after when you come back we take as a man in the society so there you're not you're going to talk how to how how to carry yourself as a man in the society the respect how to 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 live with other people in the society how to how to how, how to sort of communicate with people no not no no no, no. sir so i think we are failing to see the point here because we have those kind of if infrastructures from back home like there's family don't you think that um parents it's parents' uh, responsibility to teach that child those kind of uh, norms and to instill those values so that they become better men tomorrow. There's education. In our educational uh, system in South Africa, we have life orientation where our teachers teach us. They go through those certain aspects of life with us. So I don't understand how you now say it's important. No, no, no. No, no, no. Sianda, my point here is that Though we understand that we have got those institutions in the society, yes, we have, of course we have. Our children go to school, they, they still go to school. We work in the framework of the government, to be precise. But my point here is that for, for as much as you also do that, we also emphasize that they should, in fact, carry out those duties as men in the society. There is a certain way in which a man carries himself. Of course, they tell them at school, their parents tell them at, at home, but we... As the community, we feel that together we have a an, uh, uh, sort of responsibility to also educate them on how to keep themselves. I understand your point, but I also think we can have another initiative. Like we should, um, instead of making it uh, an initiation school, rather teach men on how to become men, like responsible citizens, but in a different platform. Not that, that uh, they should go through our initiation and actually learn how to become a man like we can have those seminars with boys from high school and yeah let me just ask you what 
exactly should be done what should be done should we uh, say this uh, qualified doctors should actually go to these initiation schools and intervene or what exactly should be done we call those ones who have who have went to the mountains and they come they help us they help the, the, the initiates and this this is a way in which we're not trying to distort culture but we're trying to find a way in which culture can work with the modern world we, 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 we're not sitting in an idealistic world where we say there is no medical uh, practitioners. Yes, there is. There are chronic diseases that culturally we cannot, you know, sort of, we cannot um, uh, cure them or anything. I but <clears throat> I think the problem here with traditionalists is that they are in denial. That's what basically Mr. Maho is telling us right now. They are in denial. The fact that they are trying to merge the modern life the modern way of living with culture means that they have accepted defeat in a way you can't say like previously uh, i knew that uh, no woman was allowed to go to the mountains we'll be continuing with the debate and of course let's start by looking at what the people are saying at home we're looking at on our facebook page i see a comment there on facebook whatever is saying uh, i think the initiation schools should continue but uh, the circumcision should be done by a traditional doctor that is Karabotebele from Limpopo in uh, Sishiko and of course we have another Facebook page uh, from um, Sipo Ramaru Sipo is saying I think initiation schools are still okay but the culture is getting distorted that is uh, the comment by sipora marwen uh, let's check on our twitter on our twitter okay we have a uh, twitter as well from uh, the boss the boss is saying uh, culture must continue but people must be safe so doctors must intervene those are the uh, uh, comments coming from the community and the viewers of this show and we will continue on our dstv the channel is 103 so do stay stay tuned this is the exclusive debate good night Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.